What is up guys, Jojo Bimomo back here playing some Insurgency, probably the best teamwork based first person shooter I've played in a long time. So first in the game we got the weapons, of course 40 plus weapons to choose from, numerous attachments, sights, barrels, under barrels, different ammunition, tracer, armor piercing, and high explosive, it's just amazing. Alright, so we playing as a Insurgency or insurgent fighter in this game. Uh, didn't like the look of the M1 carbine, so I decided to go with the AK-74. And I didn't want to leave it bare. I would normally leave it bare because I enjoy the sights of the AK-74, but I decided to go with some sights, so grab some Cobra sights and tracer ammunition with a flashlight because, you know, why not? Now, this game is amazing. It looks beautiful, and there's this feature where if you move your screen, your weapon moves before your screen moves, so you have more time to react, and your screen doesn't move as much, so... It's nice. So, I got my first kill and got killed. I can tell you one thing. This game, if you do not like dying, and you rage really easily, do not play this game, because in this game, you will die a lot. This game is based off a wave system, so you have to respawn in waves. Alright, so here you can see some of the bullet physics in action. The bullet flies in, bounces off the wall, hits the cast register, and strikes that guy in the face, which I thought was hilarious. Uh, I can go back to try to see if I can find the culprit of this bullet. Nope, he isn't there. So I decided to go in an opposite direction, because I don't feel like ending up just like the guy on the floor. Now, this game, like I said, heavily team-based, uh, you respawn in waves, and instead of respawning at the spawn point, you respawn at the objective you last took. So, team's trying to push here. We have two waves left, so every time you take an objective, you increase the amount of waves that your team has. We're taking Alpha here, moving this hallway. I see the guy on the floor, so I decided to just blast him in the face. So, yeah. I'll be deciding whether or not to put out more and more content. I need your guys' input on what I need to play, what I need to buy, anything. An intense firefight going on here. Oh, yeah. But, like I said, I live for about five minutes, and then you die and have to walk all the way back. Yeah, I just enjoy the way the game feels, the way it looks, the weapon models, the lighting, the lens flare, everything in this game is amazing. Trying to figure out the culprit of this fire, I realized it was a teammate, so... Yeah, I'm gonna push these stairs. I haven't really played with the physics in this game, such as grenades, so this is a new for me. I'm gonna die there again. So I'm just like, all right, I got this. I'm gonna run up these stairs and throw this grenade. He throw it, and then run in there before it blows up and die due to an AT4, which is pretty awesome. So they ended up pushing all the way to sight. So there's a guy on the ledge and he's shooting down at teammates, and so I decided to try to take him out with a grenade, of course. Sadly, I don't get any kills with this grenade, but I get up there. It clears, it clears the area pretty well. Alright, so I remember this room. This death trap of a room. You turn the corner and, of course, get shot because it's a horrible room to sit in. But playing this game felt really nice. The team was really great. Uh, the atmosphere got me really hyped up whenever I got shot at. The suppression effects. Enemies everywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and try to ye old fashioned spray and pray, but that didn't help very much. Hoping my teammates did some work. I uh, tried to peek this corner. No clue what's going on whatsoever, so I decided to Play it cool like I knew what was going on. <laughs> Definitely gonna play more games. I've been playing a lot of Grand Theft Auto, some Squad. Squad is probably one of my favorites, along with Insurgency. Now we're switching factions over here. Gonna go ahead and play as the US. In the United States, you could play M4s, rifles, assault rifles, carbines. So 
So, yeah, we're just gonna creep up on the objective. This is a different game mode called Push. It's less spread out objectives and more randomized objectives, so you don't know exactly what your battle plan is until the moment's notice. And of course there's comms in the game, so it's where the team base comes in. Yeah, I die a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and push B right here. Oh, also the uh, Insurgency, Day of Infamy, one of the best mods ever. It replaces some of the weapons in the game with World War II weapons. They're also releasing the British Forces portion of the mod. It's probably one of the most well creative mods I've ever played because it looks nice, it feels nice, and it feels like its own game. most well creative mods. You just get a great feel when you're playing this game. Whenever you get a kill, you feel really nice about it. You ever help a teammate, you feel really good about it, so But yeah. Make sure you figure out what you want me to play, what looks cool. I uh, recently bought the game Chicken, that's spelled C-H-K-N. Really cool looking game, I started playing that. Looks really nice. Gonna hopefully get a video of that up next. Rainbow Six Siege and uh, The Division, both great games. Alright, it's Judge Momo. Peace out.